Hi, welcome to Hope Centric Yoga. I'm your host, Hope. Today we'll be focusing on building a safe, effective, and powerful Chaturanga Dandasana, otherwise known as low plank or the forelimb staff pose. Chaturanga is a key posture in practicing sun salutations in your vinyasa flow, and when performed with the proper alignment, it can help strengthen and tone your entire body. Your wrists, arms, shoulders, legs, abdominal muscles, and lower back. It strengthens the muscles that surround your spine, which helps to improve your posture. And Chaturanga is also a great posture to practice in preparation for more arm balances. So we'll prepare for Chaturanga by aligning the body in tabletop position. You want to be down on your mat, on your hands and knees, with your wrists underneath your shoulders, the knees right underneath the hips, so they should be hip distance apart. And you want to keep your feet parallel so that when you look at the space between the knees, you are not able to see the feet turning in or out too much. From tabletop, step back into a high plank position. Again, keeping the wrists underneath the shoulders and stacking your heels over your toes. Keep your weight equally distributed between the hands and the balls of the feet so that the effort is shared between your upper and lower body. And as you reach your heels back, you want to reach your heart forward at the same time. You wanna feel a nice long line of energy from the tops of your heels through your head, allowing the crown to be a continuation of the spine. And then draw your navel to your spine in order to engage your core. Lastly, in plank position, it's important to keep the hips in line with the rest of your body, making sure the glutes are not up in the air and the core is not sinking down toward the earth. From plank position, take a deep exhale as you transition into chaturanga. Shift your weight forward and lower the body until your elbows are at 90 degree angles. The elbows should be aligned right over the wrists and your shoulders should be at the same height as the elbows. Hug your elbows to the ribs and keep your body parallel to the ground as you lower. Don't drop your center or shoot the glutes up. Your gaze should be slightly forward looking out at the ground in front of you. In order to make Chaturanga more accessible, just lower your knees down to the earth, keeping the rest of the alignment cues in mind. So you have a few options for coming out of the pose. The first would be to lower your body all the way down to the mat for a rest. And the second option would be to push back up into a push-up. And then the third option, if you're moving through a vinyasa, would be to pull through into upward dog. Thanks for watching this webisode of Hope Centric Yoga. Do subscribe to thepopare.com. Special thanks to iFilm Sri Lanka for the video production and follow me on Instagram at featherpalm underscore fox. That sound too reedy.